Now, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, charge! Robots in motion now. Working on the outer works. Looks like Kent C. Sharp will get hung up on the rampart. 834 moving in and will score in the low goal. We've got high goal score against the Blue Alliance Castle. We'll put them up 40 to 27 after the autonomous period. Moving in to tele-operated now. Can't see Sharp struggling across the rampart. They move into the red courtyard. See if they can set up to score. High goal shot deflected by Fire Bears or Fire Bear shot goes wide. Sachem Aftershock coming across the rampart. High goal shot is good by Electro Eagles. 834, Spartex scoring in the low goal. High goal shot by Fire Bears is good and also by Electro Eagles. The Blue Alliance Castle is beginning to crumble under the relentless assault of the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, quietly, the Blue Alliance has been steadily weakening the Red Alliance Castle. Under the portcullis goes Ibots coming in to score. They will put one in the low goal, perhaps 834. Their alliance partner scores in the low goal, doing the robot dance and back through the sally port. Electro Eagle scores in the low goal. Both towers down to three, four strength. About to be three strength on either side. Can't see Sharp now playing defense, disrupting the aim of the Red Alliance robots. 35 seconds remaining. All teams will earn one rank point as of now. 23-7, Ibox bringing in the last defense. 30 seconds remaining, robots thinking about where to go for their Final positions, one boulder remaining for the Blue Alliance to win against the Red Alliance Castle. They have managed to bring down that flag. Capture is imminent if all of the Blue Alliance robots can get up on the batter, and it looks like they're gonna do it. Red Alliance has two challenges. Blue Alliance with the capture. Your official results up in a moment. And here they come up on the big board with 108 points. The Blue Alliance is the victor. This will put Spartex up into the number eight position.